What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for watching this brand new video here, Life and Experience, and I'm gonna explain to you guys what urban exploring is for us. Urban exploring for us is opening a door and not knowing what is behind that door. What are the next steps you're gonna take in an abandoned place where probably nobody has been for years? To find that mystery inside, why somebody maybe left that house, or why that hospital is not even in use anymore. Going inside an abandoned hospital is maybe much more excitement than going to an abandoned house, but the mystery is always there. To find certain objects, to see a newspaper with just that simple date in there, that can triggers me so much just to see like a date, 1999. Seeing somebody not being there for maybe 15, 16 years, that, that gives me just chills. But it also questions your mind, like, why is this place still here? Why is it abandoned? Why is all this stuff still here and nobody took it away? What happened to the people who were living in an abandoned house? Nobody... cared? Nobody took time for them? And like I said, going to a hospital is maybe greater than going to a simple house. But even going to a simple school finding out that somebody is just living in the attic. Someone is living there with a cat, we found cat's food, cat's toilet. We found a bed there. Going down to the basement, we finding food and water and supplies there. It gives us a really creepy feeling that somebody is actually living in these kind of houses without having maybe a roof above them. Every adventure we're going is maybe a new excitement, are we getting into something? There is never a 100% guarantee that you're getting actually inside a house or even a building. Many nights, freezing, driving around in the dark, looking for locations, and no, there was nothing. And then there was this old barn standing there in snow, no tracks there, we had to dig our way inside into that barn. Once we got in, we found an abandoned Halloween house. An amazing car. There's pine webs and pumpkins and scary old figures there, but nobody else was there. Why was the building there? These kind of things, these little questions, they trigger you every time again to go to an abandoned place. And of course, every time your searching area needs to grow, find connections with people who you can trust and they can trust you to share a location because you don't want these locations in the wrong hands. Soon enough we have to travel more south or even more north to find more epic, amazing locations to share with you guys. We, we are willing to do that. But the question is always remaining, is it worth it what we're gonna find? Is it worth traveling? And I would say simply yes. Because every unique item or building or object that we will find in the future tells its own story. And I want to know that story. I want to discover that story. And I want to discover the places. We are sharing this with all of you guys here on our YouTube channel. We're sharing their stories to you guys. So you guys can see the most unique places here in Finland. And the other places in the world. Thank you so much for watching this is a brand new video. Your lifetime's experience. And I'll see you guys in another, in another explore. Bye.